Hi everyone, welcome back to the Pre-Game Skate. I'm Reagan Russ and we're streaming live on Facebook, YouTube and Twitch right now from Tampa Bay, Finland. We had another triple game day yesterday with lots of goals, unbelievable saves and some good sellies. So I'm going to take you through my top five moments from yesterday. <laughs> All right, so we had some great moments in yesterday's games. The first one that I have up here, we got Luke Hughes overtime goal and his celebration. It was insane. So he forces the play right here, ends up going on a breakaway. He's got a bit of distance between him, comes in, just takes a shot at the hash marks right in and then He's flying like an eagle. It was an insane goal. The crowd erupted. I saw it live and in person, so that was super amazing to see. He's really skilled. There's a lot of young talent in this year's tournament. And then on to our second moment. We have Norway save and Great Britain save in overtime with one minute remaining. You can see here, he just barely gets it. Great Britain just misses barely. If he would have had it on his stick, it would have gone in. And then we've got Norway moving around the puck. So they're coming around. He's got a lot of confidence with it. He comes in, gets a shot off, and then there's a rebound out in the middle. Goalie saves it. Amazing. We love good goalie. And then for the next, we have Casper coming in on the blue line, makes a move over the winger, then makes a move on the defender who slides down and passes it back short side. This was an unreal play by him. He really has a lot of patience. He has a lot of skill, and he's super confident in the way that he handles the puck. So passing it back short side, easy goal right there. Maybe it's not so easy, but he did it. It made it look easy. On to the next one. We have Italy coming in against Canada. We have 74 passing across at the top of the hash mark, shoots and a snipe. It was such a good goal. There was a lot of momentum from Italy there on out, but mm, unfortunately they didn't get the goal or the win that they wanted against Canada. And then for the fifth moment, we have a Czechia save. It was insane. There was so many Swedish players around the net and the defender just barely grabbed it right before it went in. So unreal job by that defense and you know that's why you have defenders to help you out when you're in goal. So great job to all those players and these are my top five moments for today. All right, now let's get on to some power rankings. Most of you probably know that we have power rankings that get posted to our Instagram at IIHF Hockey. We've got Switzerland currently at the top, but I definitely like Canada's ranking followed by, and hey, whatever became of Nick Paul? Nick Paul played in the tournament last year and scored the championship game winning goal for Canada. And just a couple of days ago, he got the game winner in his playoff game. Although we missed him here, it's safe to say that Canada is doing just fine. Another favorite of mine is the one for Great Britain. I feel like I win when I lose. Although they lost in a shootout yesterday, they were definitely a fan favorite as they rallied behind to score three goals in the third to take Norway into overtime. I also recall, I also realized that I only put Norway and Great Britain players on my fantasy, so I was done after the first game. But surprisingly, I did really well considering I got negative two points the day before. Richardson for Great Britain and Olin for Norway pulled through to get me 23 points. Thank goodness, because my points were really hurting the day before. There are three players who did phenomenal yesterday, both in their games and getting points in fantasy. Team Switzerland forward Dennis Malgan had a points night last night for himself and got his second goal of the tournament and had three assists to bring his total score to 15 points. He's currently second in points in this tournament as well. In second place with 14 points, we have France defender Florian Shakisvili. Shaka Shaka <laughs> sorry about that, who scored the game winning goal against Kazakhstan. Third place goes to Team Sweden forward Rasmus Alspen, who got two goals in Sweden's win over Czechia. I unfortunately did not have any of them on my team, but if you did, I am extremely jealous. I know I've got to step up. Tony back for Walmart. Aspen hits to the front of the net. Comes over on the far side, and that is empty, they jam it in! Thinks the puck's gonna stay on his blocker side after making the left pad save. It gets poked right there. One shot on that man advantage. Eric Gustafson, the lawn dart on it, goes for Osplund, scores! Power play, they can't convert. Sweden with the penalty killing, the up and down pass. And Asplund is gonna go. The winner of this will have a giant step ahead. Hold the line, feeds it down to Tech here, back to Shackers Billy, shoots, scores! That deflected in front, might have been fair, got a piece of it. Unlike a little shot, but you can take an undisciplined penalty. 
Simple face-off play, not much to it, but I think slides in and catches a piece of 84. Mulligan spins back. That is Mulligan. Drops it off to Moser. Yo, Moser walks right in, shoots, scores! Giannis Moser, and it's 4 nothing Switzerland. Back to Moser, across to Meyer, to Mulligan, a hard shot, scores! Everyone knows how well Meyer can shoot it, so when it gets over here, the, fakes, the fake one-timer, and then he puts it right back. And that's why they led yesterday's leaderboard. I also just want to give a quick shout out to Jan from Australia. My producer gave me this, so hi Jan, thanks so much for tuning in. We're so happy to have you. <laughs> Please keep sending in, let us know where you're coming from, and my producer will write down some more for me to show right here. So anyways, Asplund made a good comment after scoring those two goals for Sweden yesterday. He talked about being a hardworking guy and scoring twice. He said that, in the end, the most important thing is getting three points and focusing on the next game. That's the type of mentality that you need in this tournament. Yesterday doesn't matter in today's games. Just because you're on a hot streak doesn't mean that it can't change. I think it's super important to stay humble in situations like this, which leads me to today's games. Latvia versus Norway is going to be an important one as Latvia looks to pick up their first win of the tournament. They showed they could compete with Finland. Now they have to show that they can finish a game all the way through. Norway, on the other hand, gave up a pretty substantial lead in yesterday's game versus Great Britain before winning in a shootout. Both teams are going to need that team first mentality if either of them want to walk away with some points. The team first mentality shouldn't be hard for Norway as they've got some players who have known each other for quite a while. We got a, we got a team a little bit about, we got to learn a little bit about Max Krogdahl and Magnus Gebb's decade long friendship how they compete against each other, and the atmosphere in the arena. So let's check out that video now. A little bit in the lane, but that's fine. We're still friends. Uh, barely, barely. We were about 15 years old when we started playing together. Sounds about right. So that's almost 10 years now. Max came to, to my team. He was playing in the, in the minor team, so he came to the B team to play with the big boys. No. <laughs> but in a different team, but I came to another team to start there. We use uh, Snapchat a lot. Yeah. We talk about it on a weekly basis, you know. I ask him how he, how he, do, how he does, and I, he asks yeah, how he goes back home, and uh, you know, uh, we chat about like normal things too. And we play, play a few games of PlayStation too, yeah. so keep yeah. connected that way yeah. too. Well, Max is. Uh, Quite aggressive. He likes the physical part of the game, and uh, he, he he's not afraid, like even practice, to, to go hard. And uh, especially on me, you know, he he likes to be a bit extra hard. Aggressive is maybe a good word to describe your, your playing style. Yeah. On the ice, he's a really hard worker. He's a good team player. It was really exciting, you know, a lot of people in the stands. It's a cool experience, and uh, one I'll probably never forget. It was my first game in the World Championship ever, and um, you know it was a, a big crowd and a fast-paced game, and um, it was a lot of fun. My favorite part about hockey is the friendships that are made. I've met so many amazing people over the years on all the different teams I've played on, so I'm glad to see that Norway has teammates that have had similar experiences. Speaking of friends. I've got some more online, so I'm just going to give a quick shout to Michael from France, Pia from Finland, and Donna from Nova Scotia. Wow, we are all over the world today. I love it. I'm going to have to come visit you guys. Maybe we can be friends in real life. So moving on, we've got another big game as well. Finland and USA are going to have an intense matchup. Both teams are going into it thinking they're going to win, and they're both very talented teams. Looking at previous games, Finland is ready for a close match. We've seen them gel really well on the ice, and when it comes to Team USA, they've gotten off to some slow starts. Yesterday's game with Austria went into overtime before Hughes buried one on a breakaway. They've got to come out flying tonight with lots of energy, which I don't think will be very hard considering the fans are going to be bringing the energy as usual. If you're not already pumped up as I am, then you're going to have to watch this hype video that we've made. So here are some highlights from their previous games. <laughs>
Yes, I am so excited that we've had so many fans tune in already and I just want to give some shout outs but before I do that if you don't know where to send your pictures in it's on all of our socials at IIHF Hockey. So you could be featured here on the pregame skate or on our socials. So please keep sending them in. We love getting to look at them. So the first one that we have here is somewhat a fan watching the Czechia versus Sweden game at home. Looks like she has a really nice projector in the background. And then we've got Mary Cleo, actually, uh, the mascot that walks around the ring. So that's a super cute photo. Love to see it. He's a great person or a great animal, whatever it is. And then we've got some fans in the fan zone, in the hockey helmet, the goalie hockey helmet. It's massive. I love it. We got another one in the hockey helmet. And then we have a fan at home. Oh, I need to get one of those Viking helmets. That looks really good. Oh my gosh. So keep sending in your photos. We love seeing them. If you have any videos, we'd love to feature that as well. So at IIHF Hockey. And now we have Lindsay with Max Comtois. So if you don't know who Max Comtois is, he's for, he plays for Team Canada and he had an unbelievable assist earlier this tournament where he made a backhand no-look pass to the front of the net for a one-timer. So we're going to see how he's feeling today with Lindsay. Let's go over to Helsinki. Max, after an 0-3 start for Team Canada at the Worlds last year, today you're looking to start 3-0. What feels different this year? Uh, I, I think just the circumstance. Uh, I think we played good last year. We just uh, probably was a little bit unlucky, but uh, it's a different team, different mindset. Um, you know, we're looking to we're looking at a pretty good team in Slovakia. We're just trying to build our game and get better, and that's what we're going to do tonight. You're the only returning member from last year's gold medal team. What do you tell guys making their debut on how to approach this tournament? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's such a short-term tournament. You have to be ready every game. Every, every team wants to beat Team Canada, and um, that's the focus we're having. And, you know, we're just, uh, like I said, trying to build our game, uh, making sure we, we turn off the noise, and uh, we just, we just got to play better than the other team in front of us. You're coming off a 6-1 win over Italy, but Canada got off to a slower start in that game. What's the focus off a of puck drop? Uh, just putting puck deeps. We're, we're a heavy team. We can skate as well. Um, you know, it's, we just got to use our four check. We, we have a lot of ozone time uh, towards the end of that game, and that's what we're looking to focus on. Max, thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> if I would have known that she was wearing her red blazer today, I would have put mine on as well. That's all we have, but before we end, I just want to let everyone know that we are on TikTok at IIHF Hockey, and we reached a huge milestone. We just surpassed the 100K follower mark, so yeehaw, make sure you're following us. We love sharing content there, so if you're not already following us, you should check us out on TikTok for more behind the scenes footage and some fun content. If you want to see some of our TikToks, we've got some fun, we got some coming up after this. That's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in to the pregame skate. We'll see you again tomorrow at 3.40 p.m. Today was a good day. All right, thank you. Because our kids just learned to wear their so nine months.